What's happening, T T G one, the great one? I don't know what's going on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just here discussing, like, um, talking about, um, uh, what's it, talking about boxing and stuff like that. He was asking, yeah, about with the UK and stuff like that. He's wondering why you got it in for the UK, uh, UK uh, fans and stuff like that. What do I win? You know the George Groves and Carl Fox, innit? You said there was an ESPN fight. Yeah, you said there was an ESPN fight. Who's washing um, the dishes? That's, hey, that's, that's, you need to mute yourself if you're doing that, mate. Go on, go on. Go on, TJ1. I, I was listening to your video uh, on, on the fight. Seems, seems like you think this is a really world-class fight. Oh, you're talking about my video? You're talking about um, which one? The, the Frotch and Gross? Yeah. Oh, that me and, yeah, me and that guy in Mecca. What, 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 so you don't think it's a world-class fight? Uh, one minute. You're gone. You don't think it's a world-class fight, TG? Uh, no, you not at all. <laughs> I mean, this is not, not at all. Well, I, I just don't get it. How is it that it's such a, such a great event? I don't understand it. Oh, man. Based on what? What do you think of Groves? Huh? What do you think of George Groves? Uh, I think he's, um, I think he lost to James DeGale. I did. He got a, a gift decision. Yeah. Uh, he never faced anyone top 10, but he beat Johnson, and Johnson pretty much was a done fighter by then. Mm. He never fought anyone, not anything decent. Mm. I mean, I mean, like, he's not a contender, he's not a top 10, he's not a world class fighter. And, and Frodge, Frodge, I mean, he's a durable fighter, he's very strong, good chin, but very unskillful fighter. I mean, it's painful to watch Fudge fighting. I mean, it's just really, pretty much at the same level as happened. Yeah. Like, it's, it's a horrible boxing, man. Yeah, but the thing, thing is, though, right, TG, when it works uh, like this, boxing is not just, it's just not, it's not just an art, it's a fight. You know, sometimes, you know, you got to use what, you do best you know the fact is Carl Frotch is a three time world champ four time world champion whether you think he's got no skills or not he's not a bum he's not a bum and let's be real he'll fucking murder any Argentinian he, he has two belts right now but he's not a world champion no, oh my god it's not even what well, Sergio is Sergio is after he got, he got his fucking ass handed to him by Martin Murray <laughs> Well, that's a, that's a different story. That's the no, well, 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 yeah, because a different story because you were a Sergio fan. Because I wanted to have a word with you about that, but you went you went fucking missing for about four months no, after that I, fight. I, I'm, I'm not a uh, Sergio Martinez fan. I'm a boxing fan. I'm into fights. I, I don't really give a fuck about a fighter. I don't know why fans get this idea that I'm into fight fighters. I don't. I really don't care about a fighter. If you was a boxing fan, you wouldn't be calling Carl Frotch, George Graves, an ESPN fight. You just wouldn't <laughs> be doing it. No, but, but seriously, how, how is it that you could tell me that Graves is a world class fighter? I mean, what, so, what, so, were you telling me you'd rather watch Brandon Rios? People like that. Brandon Rios is a world class fighter. Well, you tell me, is he? No, he's a bomb. I mean, this this is garbage. Huh? Is, I'm just, just, I'm just checking, just checking, because I was waiting for you to say he's a good fighter, and I was going to tear into you. Oh, I thought you were going to say Brandon is a world class fighter. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 man. I was oh. waiting for you to say it, so I was going to tear into you, but you fucking didn't bite. What's up with you? No, I mean, honestly, I I, I want to see the best fights possible. That, that's what I'm interested in. Like that that's what excites me. You know, and, and this I'm gonna watch it. It's not that I'm not gonna watch, but what I'm saying is this is not a world class fight. This is so, you, so you are you telling me are you telling me what like George Groves is not world class talent? I don't think so. I don't, well does he have the talent? I thought he looked pretty bad against uh, the Gale. I think the Gale is the one that has the talent. But he beat the guy. Too much punishment. I think by the next two, three fights, Rob is going to be done because he's taking too much punishment. But if we go by talent... 
Well, see, I disagree with that. I think James DeGaulle takes more punishment than he should. Like, yeah. sits on the ropes, sits on the ropes, just taking yeah. bombs when there's no need for it. Too many, too many. I mean, he's getting hurt. It's not going to last that long because he's taking too much punishment. But as far as skills, talent, I think the Gale is the, the most talented fighter in, from, from the UK. Mm. You know, I, I like the Gale. I like, uh, the, I, I like the Gale. I, I think Groves would do a number on him, though, I must admit, I do. I don't think so. Groves, Groves, um, he was, I, like, about four fights ago. I don't even know the guy that he was fighting. And, and this guy was pretty much a journeyman. Not even a journeyman. This was a guy who who couldn't fight, and he was gonna knock out Grubbs. I mean, Grubbs knocked him out, but that guy was about to knock him out. You know, so Grubbs is not that good. Grubbs, Grubbs. You want about Kenny Anderson, didn't you? Huh? You you want about the Kenny Anderson fight? I, I don't know. I don't know the. Yeah, I think probably, so. Probably. I think what, so. Yeah. Is the fight where he got knocked down? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, he got dropped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. actually, Kenny, he was. Kenny, yeah, yeah, Kenny Anderson fight. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know much about that, that fighter, but uh, all I know is that um, if someone at that level could hurt Grubbs, you know, he's, and Grubbs pretty much in, in, in a couple of fights, he was about to get knocked out, you know, he's, I don't know, like, like I said, in the UK, Grubbs seems to be, you know, one of the biggest things that has happened to boxing in the last year. I don't get it. I don't see it. I just think. I think what it is. I think what it is. When you see a young kid fight a champ that says he's going to do something, comes out, does it? You got I me. Mean, it's not that he showed good foot. He sh all right, he showed vulnerable, vulnerable things in there when he got hurt, but he showed great ring, ring generalship in t times. His footwork was superb. His power. I mean, he's put one of the best chins in boxing, and he's fucking. He had the play. He had the guy all over the fucking place. You know, that shows he's got power. He throws lovely combinations. I just don't see what you don't like about the guy. All right, he, he's he got he's sloppy when he gets hurt because obviously he had been hurt that often, and you know it, it's not like Fox. Fox, Fox, these wily old characters, these old fighters, these old Mexicans. They know what to do when they get hurt. Groves is still young. He, he'll he'll learn from that that defeat to Fox. That guy's a talent man. I just can't, I can't see where you can't see the talent, TG one. I really can't. No, I mean, what I'm saying is, look, Grubbs is not going to accomplish much in boxing. <laughs> Probably he's going to have his bad minutes in the UK, and he's going to be big. But at the well, end, I'll tell you what, that'll be four, yeah. more, four more minutes than Chavez will have. I'm telling you that now. No, well, but, but Chavez pretty much is... Um, is a, um, the thing is with Chavez... What, what, yeah, what, is that? what is that in the background? I hear someone making some stuff in the background. Is that you, Stuart? No. Is there some bowls and stuff in the background? Go ahead. Yeah, someone's doing the washing up. What the fuck, man? <laughs> like, someone needs to mute themselves, man. man. Like, go ahead, go ahead, uh, TJ, go ahead. Yeah, uh, the thing is with Chavez, um, his heart is not into, into boxing. You know, he's just a big superstar based on the name. You know, I mean, he has skills because he grew up watching his father, and he's been fighting since he's a kid. So he can fight, and he has a solid chin. He just doesn't have the heart. He doesn't have that dedication to become a real um, top fighter. Mm. You know, but he, he could fight. He could fight. He's, um, no, he's decent. You know, he's not a world-class fighter, but he's decent. You know, pretty much, um, it seems like... Did you, just say, did you just say Chavez had good defense? Huh? Did you just say Chavez had good defense? No, I don't know. I don't, I don't, said it decent. Like said it decent. Have. Oh, decent, yeah. sorry. Yeah, I mean, his chin is solid. I mean, you know, very strong chin. Uh, he, he could take a punch. He takes but too many punches, bro. Too many, but he's not a world-class fighter. He's like a cruiserweight. Fighting at yeah. middle weight, so so he could take those punches. Well, I heard his next fight's a cruiserweight. He should fight at that. I've heard that's what he's doing. I've heard he's going up the cruiserweight. He can't. He reckons he can't make the super middleweight no more. He reckons he's sick of killing himself. He's going straight up to cruiser. <laughs> he should. He should. He'll get fucking murdered. I think he's fighting Pascal next. 
That's what they're looking for. Yeah, yeah. So Pascal, you're right, Dad. It's Pascal at light heavy cruiser because I know Pascal is struggling at light heavy as well. So I think they're going to do it at cruiser. Wow, well, that is Pascal is a has been man. He's he's a punch drunk by now. Man. Oh no, come on, man. Pascal, really? Really? Pascal's a good fight, man. No. <laughs> hey, what's your issue with TJ One? What's your issue with um, Triple G? Because every time in the group, you attack people that like Triple G and you refer to him as Lady G. <laughs> but he is 10, ten title defenses. Not Chris, one you're, you're eating 10. over there, Because you're eating over there, ain't Chris? Huh? Is you eating over there? No, I got a plate. I yeah, you can, we can hear you. You can hear your plate crashing with the with the fork, man. See, you, you, I need to mute yourself if you eat. If you ain't your <laughs> I've been wondering where that sound's coming from. I just realized. We put, we, we put this washing the dishes. Yeah, no, yeah. I can hear it. I can hear your. We can hear the plate banging every minute. Like, go ahead, go ahead, uh, TJ. Explain about mischief. Yeah, I, I mean, w name one fighter, one decent fighter that um, Triple G has faced. I mean, who has he fought? I see you more. And huh? Kasim Uma was okay. He was okay. No, Kasim Uma, man, he has been taking beatings for the past ten years, bro. Garbage as garbage it comes. Yeah, but the thing is, I think you got. I think you got to look at like this TG one. It's you know, you can't even fight who wants to fight you. Do you want to see Finn Golovkin? He's ducking. P Peter Quillen, I'm people like that. It, no, it, it's not happening. It, that, these fights can't happen because obviously they don't want it or the Showtime hates for anything. Goff can fight anyone. You know he will. No, no, that's not true. If you listen to his trainer, he keeps saying, look, Golovkin is not ready. Golovkin is not ready to take on any serious competition. He is just not ready. You know, like, like, listen. Are you telling me what's, who is it who said that? Abel Sanchez. Abel Sanchez said that. Well, he doesn't say this uh, in, in, in those words, <laughs> but he always says like, oh, we're taking the time to get him ready for, for the big fights. Oh, he's taking this fight because whatever reason. In other words, he's just pretty much saying, look, this guy is not ready. As soon as he steps up, he's going to get knocked out. So we're going to make the most money. Yeah, yeah I, think, I, I, think if, I think if Golovkin fought Martinez, That'd be a horrible night for Martinez. But the thing is, like, if a triple G is that good, let's see it. You know, I'm not, I'm not against. Um, I'm so used to calling him Lady Jean. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm not saying. Look, you're that good. You got ten title defenses. Don't fucking fight Andy Lee. Are you serious? Are you gonna fucking take on Andy Lee? Don't you think the Cold War like, is not helping with situations? I mean, you know, there's that, that's not helping because obviously that Quillen fight, he'd fight Quillen, take that belt off him tomorrow, but that fight never happened. Then you got, you got, um, who else you got in the middleweights? <laughs> there's fucking no one really. Yeah, so I, I mean, mean, Peter Quillen would be a, a good option. I mean, so but that's the only fight I can think of him to take right now, because uh, he's not going to fight Sturm. Sturm's not going to fight him in Germany. I mean, Gil, I'm not sure what's going on with Gil. Gil's going to want a fucking shitload of money to do it. Uh, Quillen came I don't, I don't, the thing is, you can't expect a guy to go up a weight, and in his first fight in that weight, fight the second best pound for pound fight in the world. I mean, you can't do that. Why not? No, you gotta be you gotta be sensible about it. You can't do it. That's like saying, all right, Andre, would well, you go up and fight Kovalev and Dennis Stevenson in your first fight? Yeah, he should. He should. He's yeah, he should. Out, he's cleaned out one six eight. You should go up now. But he's not gonna. Go, the thing is, does he's not gonna go straight up. He should go up. But is he gonna go straight up and fight the kings in that division? He's not. No. He's gonna pick. Up, he's gonna pick on the fucking Edwin Rodriguez's of this world and all the other bums, and he's gonna leave them to last. I think he'll handle uh, Stevenson. No problem. Yeah, I, I think you could have a point there. Oh, all I'm saying is, look, the Lava King is saying, look, I'm, I'm this good, and I could take on super middleweights, or I could take on junior middleweights. You know, 
So, so if you're saying you're that good and you're ready, Andrew would, would be more than willing to take that fight. He See, would. I named a fight. I named a fight um, a few months ago on one of the shows we did, and people were like, "Hmm, to turn a bit of a to turn a lip a bit." But now it looks a good fight. I, Golovkin v Canelo Alvarez at 160. What about that? I, I don't. I don't think they they will make that fight, but that would be an interesting fight. Would win it. Big cracker that would. I mean, Golovkin's a big guy. It's a big middleweight. I mean, I think it's going to be just too big for for Alvarez. I don't know. I think Canelo's. I think Canelo is easier middleweight. Yeah. I, I, look, Canelo, the way he looked against Angulo, this fighter is going to take some serious beatings in his career. It's going to end pretty bad. It's going to end <laughs> as a punching bag, man. <laughs> Alvarez is going to be really fucked up in boxing, man. Because right now, they choosing so carefully his opponents. See, I have to disagree Eventually, the fans, man, as dumb as they are, eventually they wake up and they get sick of that crap. <laughs> they're gonna demand a real fight, and he's gonna get fucked up bad, man. He's gonna. To be fair, I don't think I don't think he's fighting. I, don't, I think he'll fight anyone. I don't. For, I, I don't for a fact he's not scared of Lara. No way is he scared of Lara. Wasn't Lara challenging Triple G? What was that? And what's his yeah, name? I mean, yeah, he missed. He missed up a death wish. But, but uh, let's see. I think Lara, man, Lara, Lara could fight. I, I want to see it. You know, show show me that if if Triple G is for real, you know, show me again someone that that could fight back. Well, you just got to see what Angulo did to Lara, how he got to him, how his limited skills managed to catch Lara and hurt him numerous times. I mean, Golovkin's going to walk through him. It's going to be it's, it's going to be horrible. I, I, I don't have a problem with that. I'd rather see Lara against Triple G than, than Triple G against Andy Lee. Or, or oh, yeah, me too, yeah, me too, of course. You know, it's like, Andy Lee is like, to me, it's like, ah, oh, fuck, this guy can't take a punch. He's going to get knocked out just like Macklin. So the thing is, Andy Lee, though, huh? since, he, since Andy Lee's been with Adam, Adam Booth, his punching power's got. He's, you know, his, his timing and his punching power has really improved. But like you said, you can't improve a chip. And, and uh, the thing is, like, when you work with a fighter for years, this I could see a, a, a major change. But just working a few months or, or a couple of fights, you always go back to, to see your old ways. Andy Lee is just not a world-class fighter. You know, we were talking about how bad Chavez is, and Chavez just put him to sleep, what, in a single <laughs> round? So, 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 so that's how yeah, bad to be fair, I'm gonna, uh, let's, let's be real. I mean, the weight difference that night, it, it, it was shocking. It was like watching Value have beat up on fucking Abner Mares. Yeah, um, I don't know. I don't. If if I, I think it has to do also with the skills. I mean, Chavez has limited skills, but he was just way way better than Andy Lee. Andy Lee just. I mean, just Andy Lee is not a challenge for Triple G. I mean, people could hype the, the fight, but Andy Lee is not a challenge. That's not a challenge. Lara is a challenge. At least Lara is it has a belt. And, and pretty much is an undefeated fighter with the decisions that he got. But he, he, you know, he, he has the skills, he has the pedigree, he has that amateur experience. Yeah. And now he's been doing pretty good in, in, the, in the pros too. I mean, he looked pretty bad against um, uh, King Molina, and he got dropped twice by, by Angulo, you know, but, but he beat Angulo. At the end of the day, Angulo quit because of Lara's punches. I mean, he wasn't just because he felt like quitting. He got hurt, and he just turned his back. Yeah. So so he proved also that, that although he got dropped, but he beat Angulo. You know, I want to see Lara, you know, against Triple G, because nobody wants to fight Lara either. Who, who Who's Lara going to fight? Um, I, I can't think of anyone. Oh, he's going to fight Ishe Smith? 
Oh my god. That shit is like what the fuck? Like I- I- Ishai Smith? That that's the guy you're gonna fight? I mean I think the only the only the only ones coming through really are the Charlos at the moment, aren't they? Uh, the Charlos they're not ready. I mean they just not They're not ready. ready. They they're not ready. But the thing is, um, remember who, last week we were talking about a boxing fan and a fighters fan. Yeah. Once a, a fan, if you're a, a fighters fan, you're gonna pay your money to see your guy winning, looking exceptional, like like Canelo, and that's one of the problems in boxing that that most fans are fighters fans. Yeah. And they just want to see these guys facing really low opposition so they could look good. But this, this then there's the, the, the boxing fans. They, they don't care about this shit. I mean, what's so exciting about seeing that guy with no skills, no no power, no chin, no strength, getting beat up in the ring? I mean, I don't get it. But when two guys... That's why I don't want to see Ricky Burns fight no more. No, Ricky Burns... <laughs> <laughs> but but I, 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 I think you, he's Scottish. come back, he's going to pack an arena. But that's the Scottish yeah. thing. Got, the thing with the Scottish, the reason why Ricky Burns fills arenas is because the Scottish just suck at every sport there is. They've got no sportsmen. So they get a champion. They're going to back him to the hilts. And that's what they're doing. I mean, that guy he was dreadful, weren't he? And let's be real, it was a horrible performance. I mean, just like mean, shit it three, three in a row. It's not just exactly, one. It's exactly. Over and over and over. I'm like, I, I just don't get it. Why UK fans are so hyped on their fighters? I just yeah, but that's not really UK fans. That's that's, that's, that's Scottish fans. You put Ricky Burns in England. You you, <laughs> no. you put Ricky Burns. You put Ricky Burns in a fight. Put, put a fight in England, and he ain't, he ain't selling out ten thousand. I'm telling you now, he's not. Oh wow! Okay, okay, all right. Yeah, you got me because the UK split up. The UK split up. You should know this, being an Argentinian. The UK's um, split up into four, four bits, and the Scottish don't like us. And they've got nobody. They've got no. They're, they're crap at football. They're shit at rugby. They can't play cricket. What can they play? So they, they don't. Ricky Burns is their only champion. They're gonna. They're gonna go out and support him and sing songs. It's an excuse for a piss up for a minute. You know, but that, that's about it, really. Burns. I mean, let's be real. Burns is is he's dreadful, isn't he? He, he really. He doesn't matter in boxing. You know, I mean, they could make him the biggest star in, in his country. But yeah, I suppose it's no worse than the Mexicans supporting their bums. <laughs> the Mexicans, they flock out, don't they? They fucking up, they, they get the barbecue out and everything to sit around and have fifty of them around the ta- around the TV watching a bum. You know what I mean? So they're just as bad as us. Um, these Mexicans, man, they pretty much support the American boxing. They, 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 they are the ones that put the money for these bullshit fights. But if it weren't for the Mexicans, American boxing would be dead. Uh, I don't know. Not they, fighters, they, they, not fighters, wise fans. Because there's a reason why Floyd Mayweather always fights on a Mexican holiday. There's a reason. Otherwise, why he fight on a, a, a black holiday or or a or any holiday, American holiday, or anything. It's not. He's fighting on a Mexican holiday because he knows I'll get their dough out. Yeah, I mean, pretty much May, May 5th. Yeah. But the thing is, I think if the Mexicans stop supporting this shit, then, then the, the promoters are going to start putting real fights. And it's going to bring excitement to the sport again. Right now, That's what I think Showtime... I mean, I'm surprised Showtime have let him get away with that Marcus Madonna. I mean... You know the, that that there, it, it left a bad taste in my mouth. That did that fight. I mean, it's it's going to be a one-sided ass whooping. Schooling, who the schooling. You, Madonna's going to get fucking levered. I mean, who would you have picked? I, I, Khan's a better fight. I'm telling you that now. It is. Styles make fights. Khan, I know what you said about Khan. Stick him in there with a brawler. He's getting knocked the fuck out. But we're talking about Floyd Mayweather here, right? He's not a massive puncher. He's not. He doesn't. He doesn't throw hundreds of punches. He's just a. He's a counter puncher with world class defensive skills. And Khan has got the tools to to trouble that. I mean, when you find when you find ten punches every two seconds, then at least two's going to hit. These sluggers throwing these bombs from over their shoulder. Floyd Mayweather's out of there. 
And he's seen them coming from weeks before, man. Fucking hell, he's out of there. And then it's just going to look ridiculous. You know, he's going to be throwing them stupid bombs like he hit with, that he, thinking he's going to hit Floyd with the same ones he hit Rona with. And it's going to, yeah, it's, it's a shit fight. Well, well, Let's it's do it. Hard. It's oh, not he got good. dropped by Julio 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 Diaz. Diaz. Sorry, Chris. I said um, he got dropped by Julio Diaz at 147. That, that, Julio Diaz is not. Yeah, I'm not going to put Julio Diaz. How, how is it that Julio Diaz, a one thirty five? It was like to get us off, but, you know, we're forgetting this guy got a draw with Sean Porter. I could be one to fight. And yet Sean Porter's this fucking hero all of a sudden, isn't he? You know what I mean? That's what people don't realise. You know, this guy, he, he, he basically beat Sean Porter in my eyes in the first one. But no one mentions it. Sean Porter's this, oh, he's a fucking new superstar from America. He beat Devin no, Featherfisted no, Alexander. Think, everyone knows that Porter is garbage. Uh, what? I mean, I don't know. They don't, they they don't, TG1. They don't. Trust me, I was on the no, boxing no. list last night. And they no, fucking... No. Put it, put it, is just, uh, man, one of those fighters that you don't know how the fuck he got a belt. You know, Porter is bullshit, man. Yeah, exactly. I agree with you, mate. I agree. Yeah. Hundred percent. No. If it's not like, well, Diaz beat Porter, so that means Diaz is that good, and that's why he looked good against Khan. No, all of them are just. Pure garbage. Khan, Khan is that ready? Khan is so damaged. Oh my goodness. I, I mean, I think it's a crime to put Khan against Mayweather in that ring. It's just wrong. I mean, there should be laws against this. You know, Khan, 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 Khan shouldn't be fighting any longer, man. He's a, he's a dumb fighter. <laughs> right, boys, I'm going to have to go, you know, because I've got to shoot off and I.